Hello, hi, my name is Samuel Izurza for the SE channel. I want to welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe and share, share as much as you can. Just be careful with this coronavirus. Um, please have, have some extra supplies on hand. I don't really believe in the Chinese government, what they're telling us or, or anybody else. Just, just make sure you have at least a month or a month and a half, so or two months of supply, canned foods, water, uh, flour, um, you name it, just just uh, just have extra food, frozen frozen meat out there, and just buy cans, tuna, and and so on. Just just to just to have something, just in case this go you know blows out of proportion, like what's happening in China. I mean, I don't find this normal. Half a billion people are under quarantine. I mean, you know, and you know, and this virus just so happened to be. Um, in Wuhan where this uh, I don't know this lab was and most likely probably came from there uh, not from some market uh, the Chinese people you know they have a rich history of eating bats and snakes and I mean it's that's what they are I mean that, that's what some of them did and uh, nobody ever got sick down there but anyways um, I just wanted to say that uh, uh, Mike Bloomberg is spending just just uh, for Super Tuesday. They're gonna, he's going to be spending over 116 million dollars uh, in ad. Imagine the ad revenues for these for these <laughs> for these televisions and radio and you name it. Uh, Steyer 38 million. This is Super Tuesday. Look how much money he's spending. We'll see if that translates into votes. Uh, Warren also uh, Klobuchar. But look at Sanders, uh, 10.8 million, and the moment the momentum is all his, by the way. So um, I guess uh, people like everything that's free. I guess free uh, college, uh, free school, free health care. But he has no way of knowing how to pay for it at all. I mean, besides, he says, "Oh, we're going to increase your taxes a little bit." It's impossible. It's uh, go to Canada, go to other places where you know capitalist system. But they have, but their healthcare system is socialist, and let me tell you, it's it's a it's a total disaster. They pick and choose who, who you know, if you're 70 or 80, they pick and choose when you get operations or so on. I, I don't want to get into the details of that, but so far he hasn't told us how he's going to pay for it. So um, unbelievable. But anyway, I also wanted to just let you know. I you know, obviously I went to the CNN website. I took just just some pictures here what I thought it was important it seems like South Carolina uh, Biden uh, will uh, will come out on top 24% Sanders 19% uh, he's got to win big Biden or else he's finished that's it uh, I think he's finished there's there's no way the momentum but if Sanders takes it let's say 25 or 30% and the rest um, and Steyer may have 15% in South Carolina and Buttigieg 7% and everybody else not much so one of the reasons why also Sanders is up there is because you know you have you know more of the moderate uh, like Buttigieg and Klobuchar and I mean they have to really they have to just drop out um, I, I, I mean I see the writing on the wall or unless they're telling him don't don't because you know we want to we don't want really a clear winner when it comes to uh, the first ballot, uh, which probably will happen. I still say that Sanders should win it all, but you know, knowing the DNC, uh, you know, they cheat a lot. They do. Okay, I don't care what anybody tells me. They do cheat a lot. They pick and choose who they want. Obviously, Mike Bloomberg is is uh, wants to buy, but I, I don't think he'll he'll come. I think it's Sanders. Sanders will come out on top no matter what. Because his the momentum is his, you know. If if he takes Texas, if he takes uh, California, hey, it's all free. Yeah, you remember, free school, free food, free uh, ice cream, um, you know, free Ben and Jerry's. Why not? Every everything's free for this uh, for this fraudster. Well, I don't care what anybody tells me, but he's a fraud. Um, some people call him snake oil salesman. Yeah, he's kind of, kind of. I don't call him snake oil. I call him a fraud. You know, anybody who who's just spreads out free, 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 doesn't even. And then when they tell him how they're going to pay for it, he doesn't know. He says, oh, I'll come up with a, oh, I'll come up with a, with, with, with a plan. There is no plan. That's the socialist. That's the communist. You know, just give me the money and who cares um, until the money runs out and everybody goes to hell. So God forbid. 
So I just wanted to show you here, look, these are the delegates here, look at this. Texas and California, the two biggest one, 220, 415. And there's a good chance that Sanders may take it. Um, I don't know, I don't know about Mike Bloomberg, honestly, he can spend a gazillion dollars, who knows. But it seems like uh, Super Tuesday is gonna be the big day. And uh, I wanted to also, I, I looked, at sorry just wanted to take a look at uh, the nevada voters here the you know the Nev democratic nevada um, caucus um yeah they chose sanders uh, I, I mean if you're latino or if you're african-american or chinese or or white or whatever um 44 percent pick sanders and biden 21 that's not good i mean it should have been the other way around because as a a lot of African Americans who do like Biden, uh, but it seems like they're voting for Sanders. So I just wanted to understand a little bit of uh, in Nevada who who actually voted for what, like in terms of race. So 44 uh, percent of, of the black voters and Latino voters and Asian voters and, and so on, you know, voted for for Bernie Sanders. And look at Buttigieg, seven Warren eight percent. Uh, Biden is 20 that's <laughs> okay anyways I'm, 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 I won't even I won't even go there now in terms of ideology this was uh, I was shocked literally shocked um, in Nevada okay the Democratic caucus they voted for Bernie Sanders 49 almost half 50% like his ideology of socialism and and having got big government and you know grab your guns and grab your taxes and having bigger guns I mean having bigger government uh, more like socialist and taking away your uh, your health care so the ideology of Bernie Sanders resonated with Nevada uh, uh, people there um, as 50 percent and look at Warren Biden look just literally at the bottom so his ideology is actually gaining momentum and who knows in south carolina and california <clears throat> in texas it may be the same so i just wanted to you know obviously give credit to cnn obviously but not that i want but but they did a a, a better job than fox news obviously but i just wanted to understand people's heads so it seems like the ideology they like bernie sanders they like bernie sanders they like they like free stuff they like the socialists it seems like uh, the universities did very well in teaching um kids that uh, socialism is um is actually good for you so which is not obviously it's and, and i find bernie sanders there's no answers to him you know how he's going to pay for everything uh what's the plan there is no plan uh just look at venezuela cuba and a lot of the uh, socialist countries, I'm talking pure socialist, not Scandinavia because you know or Canada. These are capitalist countries, okay? These are capitalist country. People make profits, and in some in some of these countries, uh, you know, in Latin America, these are socialist countries. They're not making money, um, and the big the biggest one right now is 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 Venezuela. Uh, they destroyed it, okay? So, um, and also the fact. Uh, that uh, you know, it came out. You know, it, it, you know, I have to somehow defend Bernie Sanders when it comes to you know the communist. Um, uh, the uh, uh, they were talking about that uh, Vladimir Putin and the Russians want Sanders to uh, Sanders to win and Donald Trump. You know, I just wanted to say. I mean, <laughs> I'm Vladimir Putin. I would love to see Sanders win. Why would I want Donald Trump to win? The stock market is up, the economy's up, he cut taxes. I mean, if if I was Vladimir Putin, I'd make sure like, you know, like a Warren will win or a Biden will win or, you know, or a Buttigieg would win, you know, uh, or even Sanders uh, would win. Why? Because they will destroy the economy. I mean, literally destroy the economy. You cannot, with the Green New Deal and all the trillions of dollars, We'd love to see Sanders win or Warren or Biden, you know. Anyways, my name is Samuel Izerza for the SE channel. I just wanted to just do a little bit of uh, 
analysis here and just be careful with this coronavirus don't believe everything that you hear and just uh, buy some food you know extra food extra canned foods water uh, um, flour I bought some flour rice um, anything that's bagged or whatever you may need it for a month a month and a half because uh, I don't know I just just get this just a strange feeling man that this is the bad one take care God bless